Um, yeah, for people that don't know me, my name's Bill Wilson. I'm the Acting Executive Officer for the Nutanjali Aboriginal Corporation, or as I'll refer to in my presentation, NAC. Um, and I've already sent up here tonight, we, we're talking about, people are talking about partnerships. From a NAC perspective, we want to talk about um, relationships. Um, they sound a little bit more personable um, from our perspective, and, and we're certainly more invested in, in those relationships. Um, before I get into um, talking about the various monitoring, um, I, I missed the, um, the, the 20th celebration up at Mildura. Um, I, was, uh, I was unwell. Um, but I, I do want to acknowledge that the, the relationship that we have with the MDBA around the Living Murray has been a, <clears throat> has been a significant and profound um, project program for Naranjiri. Um, it's given our community an opportunity to mobilise um, in waterways and on country and around um, animal species. And uh, our community have absolutely embraced um, those opportunities. Because whilst we're you know, up here and Scotty's very passionate about the science and there's a lot of science in the room, um, it's also those cultural stories of those lands, uh, those waters, and those nachis, those, those totems, those, spe uh, those animal species, that um, I think dovetail nicely into the, into the science and tell a fuller, richer story. And I look around the room here and there's a number of what I would say key allies and, and, accompl and accomplices that support First Nations, such as, uh, such as NAC in the room. And um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about Scotty um, a little bit later and the key role that he plays um, as a relationship builder. So you, here we go. Um, I forgot your name. I'd, I'd love if you'd have another crack at saying Thukabi. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. So uh, around our turtle monitoring. Um, and, and obviously th this came out of um, some yarning circles that we had in community about um, what, what were our community interested in from a, from a species perspective? What do we want to know more about? Um, we know numbers were dropping um, around turtles and we know that through our elders um, informing us uh, that numbers had significantly dropped in, in Nutanjirui. So through a yarning circle, and then there was many of them held across Nutanjirui, um, yeah, this was a key, a key area that came up was around Thukabi around turtles. And um, yeah, so I know just recently, um, Scotty's had some, been out on Rui um, this year around Thukabi and we were, I was out there last year because prior to the role I'm in at the moment, I was in the uh, Yalarui project coordinator's role. And so I was out there with Scotty and mobilising, uh, mobilising community um, here. And as you can see there, a community are really invested in, in taking up these type of opportunities. Um, you know, it is a cultural obligation around caring for Rui, caring for country, caring for our waterways and finding out more about our species and, and what role we can play um, as Nutanjiri in increasing those numbers and looking at the habitat. So when I see these photos here, that, that takes me back to last year, Scotty. Yeah. Well, we didn't have significant numbers last year compared to this year. Um, and then you can see actually some of the, the measurements and stuff um, occurring there. And Scotty, I know when we spoke the other day, you said to mention something in this specific area. Yeah, yeah, this is just showing that, um, which is typical of the Murray-Darling Basin, that <clears throat> the Tukabi population in the lakes is heavily weighted towards older individuals. So that's all that's really showing there. That and we want that to switch, where we've got more younger ones than, than older ones. Yeah, and obviously one of the issues around um, increasing those numbers um, is around uh, foxes and, and the water and water flows. Um, and, and that particular one, and here's not far from, on the left here, was a picture at Uncle Owen Love's property near Wellington, eh, Scotty? Yeah, and the, and the photo on the other side is just a recent one where um, 
Pam Wernicke on the Lake Albert has a fox-proof fence that's been installed and she's getting lots of hatchlings uh, making it out to the water now. So it's one of the actions you can do to improve numbers. Yeah, as again, there are some more photos um, of community being mobilised. Um, given, given the time frame here, it, it, it's probably important now that I, I sort of speak a bit about Scotty. Um, and, uh, you know, we just heard Scotty before, he, you know, said that this is his dream, dream job. Um, Scotty is beloved by our Nut and Judy community. Um, and I think it's because of his, uh, he invests more than just um, uh, the work side. He, he actually builds really sustainable relationships uh, with all of our community members. Um, to the point where myself and Kirsty were doing a review in Victor Harbour there and, um, about um, our monitoring activities and inevitably it comes up, oh, can we just get Scotty to do all of them? And we're like, well, actually we can't because we've got Sadi and Jace is a good dude and Chief Eng's a good dude, <laughs> uh, lady, and Bice is a good fella. So I keep trying to say to our community, you know, there's more people we've got to work with. You know, we've got Goiter in the space of research now. We're, we're trying to cultivate and build a relationship with them. Alec is in the room somewhere, I think there he is at the back. Um, so I keep saying to our mob, no, we, we've got to work with others. We all love Scotty. Um, yeah, he's a good dude. We all know that. But um, I, I think it's his, in, his investment into um, young people. And, and uh, Scotty doesn't know this, but one young fellow he was working with last year, and Scotty was talking about doing his PhD and talking about doing, um, going back and getting a degree. And... Um, it's actually inspired this young fellow, Scotty. Um, he's no longer doing some work with us. He's working in Aboriginal health. And um, he, he's looking at doing um, some further study. And when I was speaking to him in the coffee shop the other day, he said that stemmed from a conversation he had with you um, near Milan. So for me, I, I think that just kind of encapsulates um, the investment that Scotty has made individually. Um, you know, his own values and principles um, and the way he builds um, sustainable relationships. So Scotty won't like this because he's a very humble man. But I think at, at this point, it's, it's really important that he, he gets his flowers and he gets his acknowledgement for the, the great work that he does. OK, stop now. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs>